Say hi. <laughs> that was just a Snapchat. Okay, anyways. Hey friends, what's up? It's Ash. Welcome back to another video. So for this week's video, I am going to be giving you guys some tips about virtual sorority recruitment. I mentioned in my last video that I would be doing this and I think it's pretty important now, especially because my school recently announced that everything's gonna be online and I know a lot of schools are doing things online. So I figured I would try and impart some of my knowledge of like talking to a camera and trying to be authentic um like show your personality through a screen because that's really hard to do and i don't know i feel like hopefully after doing youtube for three years at this point i know some things maybe <laughs> But yeah, I just hope that this video is helpful for all of you PNMs. Those are potential new members if you don't know the lingo. I hope this is helpful information for you guys and just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Before I get started with saying anything, I just want to put out there, if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below. Give this video a like and follow me on all of my social medias. They'll be linked in the description and also around on the screen somewhere. And so is my music. It's all linked in the description as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into my tips for virtual sorority recruitment. So I have 10 tips for recruitment, but I split the video up into five tips are in like preparation for it and five tips are like as you're going through the process. So that's how that's how we're gonna do things around here. So the first thing that I wanna say about virtual recruitment is to actually go through with it, okay? Like I understand, I understand. You know, no one signed up for this. No one expected this experience and it's not like what you originally pictured, but hear me out. If you're thinking, oh, I'll just wait until 2021 recruitment and like whatever, I'll just go through it then because it'll be in person. Fair, you know, you could totally do that. But think about all the other people that are probably thinking the same thing. Recruitment isn't supposed to be a competition, but at the end of the day, we can only give out so many bids to people and there are only so many spots available in each sorority. So I feel like if you went through recruitment now, it's not going to be as hard to get into a chapter. I think it's still a pretty, pretty good experience to go through, even if it is online and even if it isn't what you're expecting. But also this year, recruitment is going to be so chill, okay? Because like you could literally just like wear something nice on top and wear sweatpants on the bottom. You're not going to be competing over other people's voices to like speak to the other person because it's a private Zoom call. Like you'll be, you'll be able to concentrate on the conversation. You won't have to yell at each other. I don't know. I just feel like overall everything is going to be a lot more relaxed than normal recruitment. And if that's your vibe, then I think you should take advantage of that. Yeah, I think overall you should still go through recruitment even if it isn't what you were expecting. Okay, so my second tip for going through virtual recruitment is actually something I would not say if it was normal circumstances, but since we are virtual, I would recommend doing your research because, okay, normally if things were like in person and you could go into the houses, then I would say try and go in with an open mind and as blindly as possible because that way you'll be able to see everything with a fresh perspective. You're not going to have any biases already built in to your brain or anything like that. But since things are virtual and you're not going to be stepping into sorority houses, it's going to be a lot harder to get a feel of, you know, what the vibe is like in the sisterhood and all of that. So I would say try and do some research, go on the sorority Instagrams because that's where you're going to see um, how they represent themselves and how they represent their sisterhood and all of that. And with that being said, do not go on Greek Rank. Greek Rank is like the most toxic website I have ever seen. Like, mm, the things that people say on there are, probably aren't even true. Some of them probably aren't even involved in the Greek community at school and they're still just like trashing on all of us. So don't go on Greek Rank. It's not accurate. What you can do is go on the Instagram pages or if they have a Facebook page or 
a website i don't know you can even like dm some of the sisters that you see on there like we're happy to help you if you have questions that you want to ask someone you can do that so my third tip for preparing for virtual recruitment is to make sure that your wi-fi is good and that you're in a place where you'll have good connection and also to make sure that if there are other people living in the same area as you and you're all using the same wi-fi make sure that they're not like doing their own thing because zoom i'm assuming people are going to be doing it over zoom zoom doesn't work as well if someone else is on your wi-fi and they're streaming a video or they're facetiming people like it just it slows down and it lags and it's really annoying so to avoid that just make sure that you know you have a good connection in your house or your dorm or wherever you're gonna be and make sure that people around you aren't doing their own thing with that just be like hey um I've got recruitment going on, so maybe maybe not do that for a hot minute. And if they're nice people, they'll understand. I mean, I feel like technical difficulties are gonna be unavoidable, but just to take precautions, make sure you have good connection. So the fourth thing that I wanna say about preparing for recruitment this year is to make sure you're in an appropriate setting. I'm assuming most people are gonna be doing this in their bedrooms or their living rooms or dining rooms, whatever. That's fine. Just make sure that like you're not in some sketchy place because that's gonna be a little sus. I would not recommend doing it in like the basement of your friend's frat house. I don't I don't know. Just you know what I mean? Like try and find a nice place that's got some good lighting um, so people can see your face, maybe tidy up a little bit. Also, if you film in like your house or your bedroom, then that's a good conversation starter, you know? I could just be like, hey, that thing in the back, that's cool. And that's like a whole conversation about, you know, why you have it or where you got it or anything like that. So yeah, just keep your setting like appropriate for these kinds of things. And my fifth tip for preparing for virtual recruitment is to not stress out. I'm a chronic worrier. I, I will admit that anyone that knows me will vouch for that. So I know how it feels to be like anxious about something, especially like this when no one really knows how it's gonna work and you really don't know what to do, you're kind of just winging it. Don't stress about it because let's be real, we're all in the same position. We don't really know how virtual recruitment's gonna work. So I would just say like go into it, um, try to be relaxed because it's at the end of the day, it's just like a FaceTime call. You're just calling someone to talk. And also, like I said before, I feel like this recruitment's gonna be a lot more chill just based on the whole nature of calling and doing things virtual. So I wouldn't stress yourself out by thinking like, oh my god, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't know how to work Zoom or anything like that. Actually, you should probably learn how to work Zoom if you don't already, but... I feel like at this point everyone's a Zoom professional. But yeah, I was I'm just saying like don't stress yourself out because everything will be fine and trust the process. That's what they always tell us. Yeah, you're going to hear that a lot. Okay, so these next 5 tips are my advice for like during sorority recruitment while you're like on the call. So the first thing I would say is to smile, not in like a fake way. Try your best to just smile, keep a light attitude about things because like I said before, this is all uncharted territory for all of us and we're all figuring stuff out. So it's better to talk with someone that has a more positive attitude about things than a negative attitude. Like it's just not gonna rub off the right way if you're like, oh God this sucks you know like <laughs> we're all we're all rolling with the punches here so i would say just smile keep a positive attitude and all that so yeah um the next thing that i will definitely say is to be patient because like i mentioned before zoom is not the most reliable platform in the world like it has its lags it has its technological difficulties so you're gonna run into some issues sometimes where you can't understand what the person's saying or people are frozen or things like that so just be patient utilize the chat feature in zoom if you're doing that because i feel like that's easy to be like hey sorry i can't really hear you understand that 
you're gonna have some technological difficulties it's just inevitable it's gonna happen but yeah don't let little things like that um, take away from the overall experience so my third tip for recruitment this year is to try to talk about different things and what I mean by that is like yes the topics about quarantine and um, the Black Lives Matter movement those are really great things to talk about and you definitely should address them especially like black lives matter and all the social change that's going on because they're important i feel like that's that topic is going to come up with every single person that we talk to and we do want to get to know more about you personally and like what you're into what your interests are so don't be the person that just goes on and on about quarantine and how corona hit us and like all of that because We've all been through it. We're all going through the same pandemic. So yeah, I would say like, try to talk about different things. I mean, at the same time, I would say like, see where the conversation goes because if you guys really get into it, then like, all for it, you know? It, it's all situational. I don't know. I just feel like the topics of quarantine, just everything that's been going on because 2020 has been this whole mess so far and we can all agree with that, but I feel like just everything going on, the same topics are gonna come up over and over again and it's gonna get boring. So try to think of other things to talk about in addition to those. My fourth tip that I have is to try to look at the person on the screen. I don't know if this is just a me thing actually or if other people do this too, but when I call people sometimes and even when I'm filming a YouTube video, I have a tendency to like look at my viewfinder or look at the little window in the corner that has my face on it because <laughs> I'm vain, I wanna see how I look. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just a bad habit of mine that I have. So if you do that as well, then try not to. Try to look at the person on the screen, engage with them, um, make eye contact, all of that kind of stuff. Um, cause it's just gonna come off better than if you're like looking down at something like if you're looking on your phone or off to the side it's just gonna be like what is she staring at just make sure that you look engaged and that you're looking the person on the screen and you're not distracted by anything else even during like normal recruitment it's a very easy to get distracted by people because we're all like in the same room we're all trying to talk over each other so i feel like it's going to be a lot easier doing it virtual but at the same time you never know so Try not to get distracted by like a notification that pops up in your computer or anything like that. And my fifth and final tip for this video is to be real and to be authentic. Personally, from what I've seen with myself and doing YouTube for quite a bit of time, and like especially in the beginning, the minute I turn the camera on, I have the tendency to be very like perky and energetic and my voice jumps up like five octaves and it's just it's so annoying like why am i doing that because that's not how i am in real life i mean like yeah i try to be positive and i try to be happy but this is my normal speaking voice now i used to be like hey guys and it, god if you've been here since the beginning i'm so so sorry you had to witness that side she's not coming back because she was so i don't even know the word for it but she was really annoying with that being said try to be authentic try to be real we're all college students you know we're all the same we're all exactly like you we're equals like don't think of it as um like you're inferior to us because you're a pnm and we're sisters in a sorority like that's not how it works we're all just like we're all trying to be friends here we're all trying to talk and just like be be real and be honest with who you are as a person because that's who we want to get to know. I feel like you're going to hear this a lot, but the best conversations you have with people are the ones that are about absolutely nothing like of substance. When I was going through recruitment, I had this whole conversation with one girl in the sorority that I'm in right now and it was just about like mac and cheese, like of all things. It's not that deep is all I'm trying to say. It's just you're trying to talk to people, you're trying to get a vibe of um, how you feel with others and like all of that because if you're not like true to yourself when you're presenting yourself on camera then you're gonna attract people that you actually don't fit in as well with so with all of that being said I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and hearing about all of my personal tips for virtual recruitment I really hope this is helpful and good luck to all of you guys that are going to 
go through recruitment this fall or in the spring whenever your school decides to do it um i just wish you all the best of luck i hope you guys find a place where you are happy and yeah also if you guys want more like sorority videos college videos advice like any type of video you want just like let me know in the comments down below because i kind of running out of video ideas right now so <laughs> just you know help a girl out if you made it to this point in the video you are a very good human and i'll see you in my next one bye Dream